What's up, guys? So, <clears throat> being a little bit quiet, I'm in an office area today, but we have tracker panels, and I'm having some communication issues. 3A is actually not supposed to be communicating. It's on a separate zone system. 2A should be communicating, and it's not. Let's see if I can remember how to do this because it's been a long time. No, advanced. It doesn't show me 2A here, but that just allows me to edit the name. And when I do it, a replace bind existing device doesn't bring 2A up. So let's see if we can identify. It's going to want me to put this, push the service pin, so let's get up there and see what we got. So this is our guy here. We got a, an old train. 2004 manufacture date. Um, I'm not sure why this guy's not communicating. I was actually, this is a building that I've done some work at previously. We got a com LED flashing. So we're gonna try to identify the device, which is this red LED service button. Push that, and it should try to communicate to the tracker panel down there. Um, this is an LCI board and that as you can see up top there is my Neuron ID and that's the specific ID for this board and this unit so we'll take a note of that and go back down and see uh, see if it's brought that device up <clears throat> We do have some other issues with this unit, but I'm just trying to get it communicating right now. Uh, first stage is out of charge, so we're going to do a leak check on it, uh, see what they want to do. It's 2004. It's seen better days, but it is what it is. At this point, it's halfway running. I'm just trying to keep it running as long as I can. So let's get back down to our panel and see if we pulled up that Neuron ID. Here we are. No buttons pushed. There it is. It pulled it right out. Now the question will be why isn't it communicating? I have no idea. Because it looks like... Because I don't want to change the name. search install new devices <clears throat> um, well, it's gonna be looking for new devices not the same one so I don't know why if I can pull it up it must be something in that com link <clears throat> that's my neuron ID I might fumble through this. It's been a long time. I think last time I actually plugged my computer in. So let's try one other thing. Since I am seeing the Neuron ID, just not seeing <clears throat> before I go in install it. I should be able to install it, search for uh, devices, and pick up that new Neuron ID. But let's try this. How do I get to... We should be able to reboot the tracker, the entire tracker panel. That's my server room. Um, there we go. Reboot tracker. Yes. 
we're gonna let it go through and do its thing and see if it comes back up and then if not I do have a LCI board LCIR and we're gonna throw that guy in number two and see if we can't get it to communicate so this may take a few minutes you can see automatic configurations active it's gonna go through and try to pick these up hopefully or I just made everything way worse but we know number three is not on the system anymore so I should pick up four one and maybe two in the server room which server room is just temperature on this uh, 503 and you can see I've got the plant here and I've taken the stickers for each neuron ID and put it um, where it goes on the unit so I know exactly where what's what so this is my neuron ID for that the unit we're looking at here <clears throat> this is always helpful if you have the ability to go through and do this it helps in the long run when you're trying to look for these. Especially if it's not right above me like this one is. It's all the way across the plane. you got to make a take a long walk to find out what the neuron ID is. So, looks like we're done. And we picked up everything but 2A. So, let's uh, throw the new board on. See if we can get this thing talking. So I just noticed something. Before we go up, I think we're still going to change the LCI because it's got a problem. But it's not the problem I thought it was. So it looks like if I look at my controller, it says communications is up. And it shows me that neuron ID. But it's not reading any set points. The operating mode and anything like that it's not read fan status which would be the plug that goes back to my RTRM so technically I guess it could be an RTRM problem and not an LCI um, but the two aren't talking one way or another so we're gonna start with the LCI see if that brings it back up we'll take bring our neuron ID back down and uh, cover that up and make sure we get the right number on there let's get up here and see what we got so when I'm saying the uh, about the communication so this is my comm link here this communicates via all the information the LCI has down to that control panel you can see this wire harness is actually plugged into the RTRM board so this RTRM board does the same thing it does in every other train unit. It does all the controls. This just relays the message back to the LCI to tell the system what it's doing. And we're not getting that for some reason. Um, I'm not sure why, but we're going to go ahead and swap this board out. Um, the other reason I think there might be an issue maybe with the RTRM is I don't have a flash code and my low pressure is open because I looked, I checked this yesterday and I got no pressure at all. So that's a little weird as well. Uh, but anyways, I gotta get this thing communicating first. So swap that guy out. All right, so we got our new board in. Um, I, don't, I don't think you need the ground on these. The old, old boards had, you can see, it's got a ground terminal right there but I don't see anything too crazy about it this is the original board uh, you can see a whole lot of dirt and wear on the top um, nothing crazy or looking too burnt There's some scratch marks on the bottom there but uh, you can see the corrosion on the chips here I mean you can see I don't see anything burnt but um, just corrosion over the years so. Uh, I'm gonna assume that's my issue uh, rare that an RTRM board goes bad but anything can happen so power this guy back up um, you can see the comm links a little different on this one as well um, 
commercial we are talking that rx tx8 um and the com flashes periodically that tells me it's trying to talk so let's go down uh we're, we're gonna have to draw that new neuron id into the system so we'll take this with us and uh see what we got downstairs let's get back into advanced Communication link set up. Um, okay. So replace rebind the existing device. That's why it wasn't there. I didn't take it off yet. So 4A74B5. That is the old one. Let's replace the device. seeing it yet let's uh go up and hit my service pin and see if it pulls that device up service pin service lights gonna come on just a couple of seconds all right so one more shot here uh replace rebind existing device we're back at the same spot uh, we hit our service pin so we should have if we go to replace device should have our new neuron id ADF14E0500. That's going to be my replacement device. Do you really want to replace this device? Yes, I didn't come this far not to replace it. And boom. Do show an alarm. Let's go back and see what that alarm shows us. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. There we go, COM5 database event. I'm sure that's probably the communication. It's weird, my screen's screwing up on me. I do have temperatures now, and there's my 2A. You can see we're reading a temperature. Beautiful. So, if we go through here, we can see our settings, advanced status to set up. Um, Controller setup. These are all of our occupied modes, temperatures. Um, we're not using the local set, well, we are using local set points. Uh, controller status. Diagnostics going to be just from the whole reset we did. So we're back up cooling 50%. air temperature but we are up and communicating let's go ahead and reset our diagnostics um, so I'm happy with that take the old guy and toss him replace our sticker here so we know the next time we'll call this one good so let me know what y'all think uh, don't see a whole lot of these tracker panels anymore I really like these things uh, I used to work with them a lot don't work with them near as much anymore everything is SC, which uh, uh, I've had some videos on some of that too. So let me know what y'all think. Leave me a comment. Hit that thumb. See y'all in the next one.